What's up, guys? This is Dark Wolf Gaming here with my uh, Evil Eye deck profile. Let's get started. First card we are playing three copies of Zero Zero. Well, basically, kind of your main monster in your main deck. Um, what this card does is, is when you are normal summon, you can add one evil eye card from your deck except itself. If this card is equipped with Selene, quick effect, you can target one special summon monster and uh, your opponent controls and destroy it. You can only activate uh, the, this effect once per turn. And during your next standby phase, you have to pop a card on your side of the field. Which is really, really good. Next I play. I'm going to butcher this name, so I apologize. Borealis, the familiar of the evil eye. And what this one does, uh, if you control an evil eye monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Um, you can special summon uh, Battleless familiar once per turn this way during the main phase you can summon one evil eye spell or trap from your deck to the graveyard uh, so basically it, it kind of can get your um, engine jump started a little bit you can send a Selene or a Gorgon or any of the other other ones because there's ways you can recur it uh, another one I'm probably gonna butcher is cat kettle please uh, I play one off of this, and you can target one Evil Eye Spell Trap card. You control once until the end turn. Uh, the card not, cannot be destroyed by your uh, opponent's card effects. Uh, if you control an Evil Eye Monster besides itself, while it's in the graveyard, you can special summon this until the end of the turn. And then basically, when it leaves the field, it's, it's banished. So like kind of like... You know, like a spinning effect and all the other ones that do basically the same thing. Then I play two Medusa. And what Medusa does, when this card is normal summon, you can target one evil eye card in your graveyard, except Medusa, watch over the evil eye, add it to your hand. So basically this is like, so if you send, let's say Selene, you can get it back. Um, if this is equipped with Selene, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, banish it. Um, you can only use the effect of Medusa once per turn. And once per turn during your next standby phase, you banish one of your cards in your graveyard. So, basically, they all have the effect that affects your opponent on your next turn. And it affects you as well. Then I played the the spice of the deck right here. I play three ghost sister of the spoke ah, spooky dogwood. Basically, with this deck, it, you know, it just burns yourself a lot. Uh, you know, effects of the other cards just to pop and. Oh, excuse me. Add uh, attack power to your your Cizero or any of the other monsters, and it burns you for five. But we'll get there. Um, but then we play three Evil Eye Domain, and then basically, when this card is activated, you can add one Evil Eye monster from your deck. Basically, you're gonna get your Cizero. Well, once per turn during the damage calc, if an evil eye monster is attacked while well, evil eye slain is uh, equipped, you can take uh, you can make the battle damage you take from this also inflict to your opponent. If this card is destroyed by card effect, you can target one evil eye monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So basically, let, let's say. They, they have a big, we'll say a big Dragoon guy, all right? 
and they already use their uh, effect to the pop or negate, whatever. If they swing in, let's say you have a, a thousand attack monster on the field somehow. They're going to about to do 300 damage to you with this card. You go effect, you also take 3,000, which can come clutch. I have gained somebody off of this card because they weren't, didn't remember to read the card after I told them what it did. And they tacked into me anyways. I go effect, domain, you lose. It was really nice. And then I played a one terraforming. Basically, to get out your domain. Then, I personally run three Evil Eye Selene. You want to see this card, or you want to be able to get to this card. You can equip this to an Evil Eye monster. It cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effect. So, they can't be targeted, and they can't be destroyed. Yeah, you still take the damage if they're higher, but... The monster does not leave the field. Also, your opponent cannot target it with card effects each time you activate equip monster effect um, or activate a monster evil eye spell or trap equip. The equip monster gains 500 attack, and if it does, you lose 500. That's why we play Spooky Dogwood. Just for the fact that we don't want to burn ourselves to death. Uh, this attack gains... Remains even if this card leaves the field. If this card is in your graveyard, you can pay a thousand life points. Again, it has a recursion that you have to pay life for. So, making sure you have well over 8,000 is always good. Then banish one evil eye spell trap from your graveyard. Uh, accept this one. And set this card. You can only activate Selene once per turn. So, let's say you've already had this on the field. Your opponent gets rid of it, you pay a thousand, banish a spell or trap, set it, activate it. Because you have not activated it, you know, for that turn. Which is really good. Then we play two evil eyed Gorgon. Um, basically, equip the only to an evil eye monster, you can activate. One Evil Eye Gorgon per turn. This card becomes Evil Eye Selene while in the Spell and Trap Zone. So basically, you have five copies. Well, while your life points are lower than your opponent's, the Equip Monster gains equal to the difference. So let's say if you are at 3,000 and they're at 8, and you have, let's say, a Scizoril that's at 2,000 already, right? Or no, it would be like 21. He's got one uh, 500 boost. So he's at 20, 21. So he's now a 50, 51 or... Yeah, 51 or or close to around that. You know, and you could just gain sometimes with this. Oh, the other effect it has is that if this is in the graveyard, you can banish this card, discard one evil eye card from your hand, and add any evil eye spell or trap uh, from your deck to your hand. So basically, you can go get your Selene. Um, if you already have Selene out on the field, you can go get your any of the other ones that you need. Then we play three evil eye awakening. Basically, what this one does is you can special summon one evil eye monster from your hand or graveyard. Or if evil eye of Selene is in your spell or trap zone, you can special summon one evil eye monster from your deck. So if you already have uh, Selene equipped to Scizoro, you can special anything out of your deck that you want. Evil eyes, well, you know, evil eye wise, but still, still a great card. Um, you can only activate one per turn. Uh, it's, you know, you kind of want to see it. Then we play two Evil Eye Confrontations. And basically what this card does is if you control an Evil Eye monster, target one spell or trap, your opponent controls, destroy it. And if you do, an Evil Eye of Selene is 
in your spell trap zone, banish that destroy card. Uh, so basically, if they have a a spell card that they can reoccur, you can just nail it, and you know they can't get it back. Run two of those. And then I I play two evil eyes repose. Um, this is a great card. Uh, it kind of helps sometimes on brick your hand because yeah, this deck can brick at times. Uh, when you activate this card, you can banish one evil eye card from your graveyard and draw one card. Great. Once per turn, after damage, uh, damage calculation, if your evil eye monster equipped with evil eye slain attacks an opponent's monsters, you can banish that opponent's uh, monster, which is great. You know, to be able to, to get rid of something that, you know, maybe Monster Reborn, World Legacy Secession, you know, anything that could bring it back. Yeah, you can't. Um, if this card is in your spell and trap card zone, uh, uh, destroyed by a card effect, you can target up to three of your banished evil eye cards and return them to your graveyard. Um, you can only activate one uh, evil eye's repose per turn. So let's say basically you you know, Medusa banishes, uh, Selene banishes to get recurrent, Gorgon banishes to get a, so um, there's purposes for this card to where your banish pile can get pretty, roughly maybe five to six of your evil eye cards. So to, to be able to recur some of those back to your graveyard is great. Then I play the new card out of Eternity Code. I play two Evil Eye Remergences. Um, you can special summon one familiar Evil Eye token. It's a Fiend Dark level 1, 400, 400. Or if uh, Selene is a, on the field, you can uh, summon two instead. So it's basically a token generator uh, for Evil Eyes. Uh, also, for the, the rest of the turn, this card resolves. You cannot special summon monsters except, except fiend monsters, which, not a problem. We're going to be summoning our boss monsters anyways that are fiends, so we are good there. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Your opponent cannot target evil eye spells, traps you control with effects this turn. Um, you can only use each uh, effect of this card once per turn. So let's say it's already resolved. It's in the graveyard. Uh, your opponent tries to use Twin Twister or, you know, something to get rid of a sling. So that way, you know, you can't plus or get a gain card advantage. You just banish that and say no. Then I play one of the most hated cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! But... Like I said, uh, Terraforming also gets this card. I forgot. We play the one Mystic Mine. This card says, you want to have fun? I want to have fun. So let's have fun together. Um, but we play we play one. Uh, the, the deck space is kind of tight. And I was able to squeeze one in just in case... Those, you know, weird hands to where, let's say if you open up all spells with a terraforming and you have no way to get to an evil eye monster, Mystic Mind, you know, will just say, you know, I'll give you a couple of turns and hope your opponent doesn't have the out to me beforehand. Next I play Three Pot of Extravagance. Um, our extra deck is really not that, uh, big of a deal. You know, we, we have our, uh, two boss monsters that we play th three of each. So, the likelihood of them hitting all six on one card, you know, it, it's really slim. Oh, let me just move the camera. Okay. And, um, so, you know... To be able to draw two cards to help on Brick is really, really good. Next I play... Oh, that's it for the spells. Next we play... 
Uh, two evil eye uh, retribution. Uh, when this spell or trap card is activated, you can control and you control one evil eye monster negate the activation. And if you do, destroy it. If evil eye slain is in your spell or trap card zone, this card activation cannot. Uh, oh, it can, this card cannot be negated, so they can't respond to it. So you set this. You have your scissor most likely with the Selene. They go, uh, they try to activate. Let's see. Uh, let's try to say they try to activate. Um, you go, they make a Barlow Savage. You go, Scissor will affect the pop. They they go, no, with the, their counters. Let's say if they got the counters on. And then you just flip this over and say, yeah, no, get that out of here. Um, then I play one Evil Eye Defeat. If you control an Evil Eye monster, you can target one on the field. One monster on the field, or up to two if you have Selene on the field. Uh, return it to the opponent's hand. So it's basically a Compulse, which is great. It, you know, to get rid of a problematic card um, that, you know, that doesn't target. Oh, no, it does target. Never mind. Um, but still, still really good. Then for the spice of the deck that helps, you know, control the game. That's, you know, you, you kind of want to control the game for the most part, but also whack your opponent for, you know, for some massive damage. We play two summon limit. Basically, you know, neither player can special summon more than twice. So you basically you build your board, which is nine out of ten times is one monster, maybe two. You know, depending on you know your hand, and there's a lot of a lot of combo decks out there running around. You know, you got the infernal uh, infernal noble knights. You got the the PK fire uh, deck now, or the oh, the rusty deck if you want to call it. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Adam Emancipators are still running a little bit, uh, even though they lost some consistency with Block Dragon and stuff like that. They're still not bad. Um, this card does affect a lot of decks. So you just flip this up on their second summon and they just, you know, cry. If they don't have the, you know, Twin Twister or a way to get rid of it, 9 out of 10 times, you, you can gain right there. Um, then... We play the other spice. There can be only one. Basically, each opponent can only have one type of monster. So, against an Emancipators, they can only have one rock. Salomon Greats are still around, which is still a great deck. Check out my profile, uh, my sa uh, salad deck. Affects that deck. I mean, there's the warrior deck. I mean, there's a lot of decks that this card hits and it just shuts them down. Um, but that's 40 cards. That's the 40 card main deck. All right. Now to our extra deck. We play three Zazero. Um, basically what this card does is, uh, if, if this is linked, someone using a monster with 2,600 or a higher attack as material, which is not very hard to do, you can make it, uh, it can make a second attack during each battle phase, which is huge. If this card is equipped with evil eye slain, quick effect, you can target one of your opponents, uh, one card of your opponent controls and destroy it. And if you use this effect of, of evil eye... Uh, once per, you know, once per turn. So, basically, pop card, really great. And then we play the other boss monster. Three. Gorgon. Empress of the Evil Eye. Uh, gains 100 attack for each Evil Eye card with different names in your graveyard. If this card is equipped with an Evil Eye quick effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate it its effects. 
Um, which, if they have a Dragoon, this does not target. I believe you can negate it, but I'm not sure. Uh, but you could do other cards like Savage and, you know, make them burn their negate or something like that. Uh, negate its effect until the end of the turn. You can only use this effect of Gorgon once per turn. Once per turn during this next standby phase. Uh, destroy one monster this card point to. If you don't have a card that points to, oh well. So sad. Um, then we play one Unchain Ab Abomination. Um, if you control, if a card on the field is destroyed by card effect, except Unchain Abomination, except during the damage step, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. When another monster is destroyed by battle, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. During the end phase, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. So, in all reality, you have potential to pop three cards. What is there not to like? Um, then we play one barricade blocker. Uh, barricade blocker. Uh, basically, to help protect, you know, your field spell. A lot of times, you, you pop it yourself, but if, if you really want it on the field, you know, uh, you just keep it. And then we play one Nightmare Phoenix. Again, it's a fiend, so it doesn't lock us out of uh, summoning it. Back row, hate, pop a card, draw a card, you know, not bad. And then the, the the next couple cards are just random fillers, you know. One Abramax. Starving Venom. Gar uh, Mud Dragon. Trishula, Ice Dragon. Uh, Phantom Knight. Again, pop another card is always great. And then Cross Sheet. Yeah, I just threw those in there. I had them laying next to me. I was like, we play Pot of Extravagance. We really don't care. There's maybe four monsters out of the whole extra deck that we're summoning anyways. So, it is what it is. But, that's it, guys. Um, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Um, if you want to ever see any test hands... Um, of any of my deck profiles, just comment below. I'll gladly do that for you to show you how they, you know, interact, some combos and stuff like that. Um, other than that, have a great day, guys. Uh, thank you.